understand this problem um, already kind of written, and I know my two triangles don't look exactly um, congruent to each other, but when we're, um, when we're going through these, whenever you guys are doing your problems, especially the problems that we're going to be going over today, make sure, all right, um, make sure when you're doing the problems today that uh, you write in whatever information is given in your figures. Now, I know this problem already did it, but I'm just going to go and practice it through there. So if I want to have a proof, we're going to start with a statement and a reason. Okay, so the first thing, guys, again, is just to give us our givens. Actually, we need to prove, prove triangle P R T. Is that what, what are we trying to prove again? We're trying to prove actually the angles, or what are we asking you to prove? Okay, so prove P R T is congruent to triangle D E F. Okay, so the first thing, ladies and gentlemen, and the easiest thing to do is write down the givens. But once you write down the givens, make sure it's reflected in the picture. So my first given is PR is congruent to DE. PR is congruent to DE. So I'm going to put a tick mark there for each one. Then I have PT is congruent to DF. So PT is congruent to DF. Now, again, the reason why I'm not using one tick mark again, because they could be the same measurement, but we, we don't know that, so we don't want to assume they are, so I'm going to give them two tick marks to differentiate between the two. Then we have angle R is congruent to angle E. So we could say those two are equal to each other. And we have angle T is equal to angle F. Okay, so we need to prove they're congruent. And so far, all we've talked about in this class to prove congruence was side, 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 or side, angle, side. But there's something that was very important because we do have side, two sides and an angle, right? But there's something important about that angle that we had to remember. Um, Dominic, do you remember? What did, when we were talking about side, side, we know we don't have all three sides are equal. Right? We're missing one more side. But when we talk about side, angle, side, there's something very important about that angle that we needed to have. Do you remember? It, it could be obtuse. No, it could be obtuse. It could be acute. Malik, or I'm sorry. Mark? Didn't it might have to be in between the two triangles? Do you remember that name? Included. Included. Yes. Included, all right? So do I have an angle that's in between two side lengths that we know that are equal? I have that angle, but that's not be this side, we're still unknown. I have this angle, but that's not between two sides. So unfortunately, right now, we don't have a congruent statement. We don't have side, 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 and we don't have side, angle, side, because our angle has to be included. But let me go and think about this. Guys, if I gave you a triangle, Actually, I'll give you three triangles, OK? Let's say this is 90 degrees. And let's call this 60 degrees. Um, Sierra, do you know what this angle has to be right here? Sierra, 90 plus, one, 90 plus 60 is 150. Yep. So 90 plus 60 is 150. So what does this measurement have to be? 30 degrees, OK? And let's do another one. How about if I did 60, 60? What do you think that one has to be, Taylor? Those two, three triangles. If that's 60 and that's 60, this other triangle has to add up to what? So what does the secret measurement have to be? 60. 60 plus 60 is 120. So if you add another 60, that's going to give you 180. All right? So the whole purpose of this, what I was trying to do, Ashley, is explain to you guys. If you know the measurement of two angles, can you now figure out the measurement of the third angle? Yes. And why is that true? Because remember, all, measure, all angles add up to what, Dominic? What is it all the measures of an angle lead up to? Because you probably need to either put that on 
or put it away? Really? Yeah, because it's supposed to be around your neck, right? There you go. OK. So all the angles in a triangle add up to what? 180. So if I already know two angles, I can easily figure out what the measurement of the third side is, or third angle. So guys, if these two angles I already know are equal to each other, do you think you can assume then that this third angle has to be equal to each other? Yeah, yeah that's like saying, I have two triangles. This is 90, and this is 60. These two angles are equal to each other. Can you now assume that these two angles have to be equal to each other? Yes. So what I can say now is angle P is congruent to um, angle D. And I never wrote down all the givens, so I write given, 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 given. And then this is what we call the missing um, or the third, this third side angle theorem, or the third angle. Because you have your third angle. Because if you know two angles are equal, then you know the third angle has to be equal. So now I have these are equal to each other. Well, guess what? Now I have side, angle, side. Side, angle, side. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, now you can say that triangle PRT is congruent to triangle DEF. And the reason being is because you have um, side, angle, side. OK? And that's it.